the story of DDT and peregrine falcons is, of course, one of the, the great mystery stories of the 20th century. Peregrine falcons were declining and no one really understood why. Uh, it turned out through a number of studies uh, that DDT was responsible. Uh, thinning the eggshells of the birds so that they were unable to reproduce adequately uh, to replace losses in the adult population. Uh, well, we're in the middle of the 2014 banding season. We're here at the, the MG and East site in Madison. We just banded uh, four youngsters. Looks like uh, three females and a male. And the banding is, is used for tracking the chicks and so on and so forth so that we can keep track of where they go um, and um, who they mate with and so on. This year, the birds in the brood are being named for Joe Hickey and several of his close associates. Uh, he was a graduate student of Aldo Leopold's and returned to the University of Wisconsin to join Aldo Leopold as the second person in the brand new Department of Wildlife Management. Uh, Joe Hickey and his student Dan Anderson went on to really firmly establish the relationship between thin eggshells and DDT, not only in peregrine falcons, but in other top predatory uh, birds in, in the U.S. First name obviously goes to Joe Hickey. Uh, three women, Lucille Stickle, Lori Otto, and um, Rosalie Edge. Three women that were both scientists and conservationists and played a role in the study of raptors and especially the relationship of raptors to DDT. If you want to use children and grandchildren, so to speak, um, these are 23rd children. And we have, um, so far, 12 confirmed grandchildren. And it looks like it's uh, going to be another good year. Last year we had a known total of 32 nests that produced a total of 98 young.